Okay, so now you've seen me with my little plumb line, um, telling about the basic principle of things to avoid. I'm going to show you it in real life frame action now. The first thing to avoid, rule number one, avoid catching the swing towards an object or a person. There's certain ways you can do this. The first way you can do is catch it before the target obstruction and then sort of tap it over. So I'm going to show you that first. So tip one of rule one is to um, catch the swing before your target or before the obstruction or person. I say rule, these, these aren't really rule, they're guidelines, but it's just easier for the video. So let's get away from it a little bit more actually. I'm going to head towards the stairs and my, my target still is. The stairs are the obstruction. It could be a, could be an old person or it could be a, a, a materials, it could be a building. Um, I've got a level, another level there, so I'm, I'm above level 21, so I've got a slab of level 22 on my left. I could hit that with a load as well. So, I'm going to slew left. And I'm going to catch it just short. And now, I'm going to start tapping it gently round to the to the left to get onto my target. Very gently. One more catch at the end. Now I can drop down onto the stillage. The imaginary sling of signalers can sling it up, pick that stillage up, everyone's happy. So the second tip of uh, avoid catching a swing near an obstruction or person is to make sure that you're above that person or obstruction when you're going to do it. So at the moment I am. I start slewing over. The reason of doing this, I'll show you why, if I go in the high speed if I misjudge it, oh look, I've gone over the top of it. I haven't crashed into it. So I can go back now and tidy it up. Back now, I'm now back over my target. I haven't crashed into those stairs. I can voice down. to the stillage. The guys can uh, sling it up, pick it up and off we go. So that isn't always possible so if you're on the ground, oh, it up. if you're on the ground floor and you want to slew towards the building, but the building's 23 floors high, which is what this is, then, you know, you're not going to be able to come all the way up over the top of the building, kill the swing, and then go all the way back down. This is not going to be practical. And in the same respect, if you are, say, I'm up on the, on the top levels like this, the, the slingers might need to hang on to the load or the tape line. You might need to do a controlled lift. Let's say you've got shutters on, a shutter on and it's a little bit breezy but it's not over the limit but it's a bit breezy so they want to keep hold of it it's called a controlled lift you can't take it up in the air because they won't be able to reach it so you have to keep it close to the reach and then go over gently and uh, drop it down that way but um, this is just an option if you're in this sort of scenario so rule number two is to avoid getting overconfident Tell you why, I'll give you a little, uh, a little back story. When I was training, when I was at construction college doing my training for driving the planes at Birchard Newton, um, I was in a saddle gig frame and it was right next to uh, a unit, basically a big unit, which was a, 
an old aircraft hangar inside there. They should do uh, new training and some offices in there, bits and pieces. Um, but it was, yes, yeah, basically it's like a dome shape, like a, what do you call it? Like a uh, tunnel building, really, if you imagine. Uh, the top half of it was made up of corrugated, you can only imagine it was tin or iron or whatever. So next to this, this hangar was a rack of whatever. I, don't, I can't remember what was in the rack. It was a long rack or something. And it was placed here purely for training. There was about a two meter gap in between the rack and the building. So I was to, my task was to slew round towards the building uh, on the far side of the rack and then to trolley in to run I forgot to tell you there, we had like, I had like a one ton concrete block. So that's what we used to train with. So I had to run this concrete block, um, towards me. I had to trolley in towards me to run it in between the building and the wreck. So because I'd been doing really well up until this point during that week, I got a little bit cocky. So I thought, right, I'll try and uh, do it smooth in one motion. So I, I slewed round towards the building. And as it swung towards the building, back that far away, I tried to catch it in one, go over the top of it in one, but uh didn't work. So of course, went too fast, concrete block kept swinging outwards and crashed against the, uh, the hangar. It wasn't a major deal because it was a training facility. There wasn't any harsh words toward, put towards me. Um, it happened all the time. Um, you know, as I looked, there was loads of holes in this hangar. I was just a, another one on the list for them to take the mickey out of. Um, but I repaired it and that was it. Um, now, in a controlled environment like that, you can get away with it most of the time. But when you're out on site, it's a different story. You know, you can't be getting complacent, you can't be getting overconfident like that and cocky, throwing the crane around you and really. You know, you've got to be careful. It's a safety critical job. You know, you could cause great financial loss to the company. You could lose your job. You could lose your ticket. And you could, you know, you could kill somebody. And they all seriously hurt someone. So um, that's that. I won't show you a video of me getting over confident and throwing all over the place because you can get the idea. Uh, it's just something to really be conf uh, really be. Um, conscious of, especially as you get more experienced. Really, when you get more experienced, you should get more cautious and remind yourself all the time of the uh, nature of the job. Yeah, so please bear that in mind, guys. It's really, really important. Just a quick one. If you like all this stuff, head over to my website, constructioncogs.com. The link is in the description below. You'll love it over there. It's full of crane porn. It'll blow your mind. Before you do that though, hit that like button and hit subscribe. It'll really help me out. I appreciate it very much. Cheers. See you soon.